and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we have a collab. This is with the gorgeous Lynette. She's one of my really good friends here on YouTube. Her channel it will be linked down in the description so go ahead after this video and go check out her video. Um, but we are doing a video that's a bit sort of of the time as it were. So this is a Christmas look with a bit of a twist so it is a sort of Christmas party Skype kind of look so imagine you're at work and obviously you can't have a Christmas party how would you get dressed up and what would you you know how would you do your makeup for a like Christmas virtual party so yeah the idea is that you'd be like sort of there maybe with a glass of wine just having a chat over like Teams or Skype or whatever Zoom whatever you do use and we're kind of coming up with a look for that kind of a, a vibe so it's not going to be I'm not going to be going all out although it is a Christmas party so I am going to make a bit of an effort if that makes sense it's going to be sort of in between not full-on glam not daytime sort of in between but anyway let's just dive in so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um put some moisturizer on my face because it's been a while I haven't really used moisturizer in a while um, when I say a while I mean it's like evening um yeah so it's been since this morning so I'm going to use this I've been using this one a lot actually this was actually gifted to me by glossy box in I want to say it was the advent calendar but if not it was one of the um beauty boxes so it is one of the glossy box skincare products and it is the three-in-one moisturizer now I only really use this when I'm doing my makeup and the reason being I just like convenience and what I do is I keep it in my box with all my makeup in it and so when I'm doing my makeup I grab it out and use it so I would say this is a good moisturizer I really really do like it however I've not really used it for um, anything other than prior to makeup if that makes sense but it's good for that I really do like it for that and I generally put it across my eyes and things and I've never sort of had a reaction so that is always good I do have really dry skin so I always need to stick an extra layer of moisture on my face before I do anything else makeup wise even if I've moisturized that morning um, I do feel like my skin drinks it up and it's gone by the afternoon so I always start with brows so we're going to start with that I always go in with gimme brow which I'll show you this new one because you can see what it looks like the one that I'm going to be using today there's got no right and left on it that's my backup because it's this one's nearly done so I use this all over my brows and as you can see from now I've got like nothing here I had a bit of an accident with the tweezers got a bit excited and it's just not growing back that was months ago and the side that I didn't go crazy with has grown back to here. And this side that I um, made a mistake with is not growing back just to sort of, you know, be nasty to me on purpose. <laughs> I swear, that eyebrow's got something against me. So that was usually all I ever did to my brows. But now because I've got this half a brow, I have to use a pencil. So I use this one, which is the precisely my brow by benefit this one's in the shade three i use gimme brow in the shade three as well but i actually had a 3.5 in the pencil and i prefer that so um i've got a backup of 3.5 when this one runs out i'm just not into wasting products so although i prefer the 3.5 i will use the three up so i've kind of roughly drawn out my brows and now I'm just going to go in with this cut crease canvas by Revolution I have the shade the lightest one the fair one I think it's illustrate if there's any right and left on this I've no idea I think it's illustrate it doesn't say on it anymore it's worn off as everything else is in my life but I just use this around my brows just to neaten it up because I don't like really really um blocky brows on myself I think they look lovely on other people but on myself I think they look too harsh possibly because I'm so pale um but yeah I love other people with 
those kind of brows they just don't suit me at all so I use this and it kind of gives me not blocky brows but it gives me a more defined brow without being as severe as you know like using a pomade or something like that I don't like that look on myself possibly because as I say I am quite pale and I think it looks quite harsh on me kind of looks a bit like wow you've got a pair of brows <laughs> whereas I think on other people it looks really nice but I have got a weird sort of hair colour and I think that doesn't help. Like, obviously I've got my blonde at the end, but the majority of my hair now, since I've had it cut, is natural. And it is all different colours. So, just ignore my ball bits. I've got a few ball bits at the minute. We, we are ignoring those. But, I've got like naturally dark blonde mixed in with brown and then this bit here that looks bald isn't bald that is white it's wispy and it's baby hairs but it's white blonde with baby hairs but if i pull them out you can see there are hairs here it just looks like no hair because it's so pale but it is it's like white blonde i just have a really weird kind of natural patchwork hair color So yeah, I think that's why my brows look weird when they're really, really um, obvious because nothing else about me is all one colour. So I think when they're all one colour, it looks a bit weird on me. So yeah, I think we're going to try this one out. So this is from my Glossy Box Advent Calendar, um, which incidentally was gifted to me just to be transparent. But I just think it's a very Christmassy eyeshadow palette. Ignore the fact that I, I broke this shade and it's gone kind of all over the place, but ignore that fact of that broken shade and, and the kind of mess that's ensued afterwards. There's some really nice sort of Christmassy vibed colours here. So I think I'm just going to do a very sort of typical crease, uh, cut crease, like a very um, goldy, Christmassy, sparkly loveliness. <laughs> I think we're going to start off with Merlot Mondays, which is a shade here, which is a gorgeous kind of ready brown. I'm just going to pop this in my crease. So I'm just going in with this nude shade called In The Nude, and I'm just going to use that to buff out the edges of that colour. So next I'm going in with this top shade, it's called top to top <laughs> I'm just putting that a bit lower in my crease just to give it a little bit more depth and a little bit more pigment okay so I've had a bit of a rethink and I think because it's a Skype call I'm probably going to be too lazy to do a full on I was going to do a cut crease I feel like I probably wouldn't do a cut crease for a scout call because I am quite lazy. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're just going to do a... Um, it'll be similar to a cut crease but without actually having to cut anything because that's, that's me. So I'm just going to wet a brush with some Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus. And I'm just going to take... What shade should we go with? I think we're going to go with Peach Fizz because it looks beautiful. That's Peach Fizz there. It's a gorgeous gold nudey um, shimmer. I'm just gonna pop this on my eyelid without bothering to cut anything. And I didn't need to, did I? Look at that. I didn't need to cut anything. This will go really easily over shadow. Just bear that in mind if you've got this palette. If you were lucky enough to pick up the um, the advent calendar or if you've bought it yourself. I mean, it is pricey, but it is a beautiful palette. And you do get a lot for your money. It's not like it's £40 and it's small. It is, you know, a decent size for the money. You can pay like £40 for... Um, 
an ABH palette and they're much smaller. I do seem to look, think this formula, um, I do like this formula. It seems to work really, really well. It's definitely a high-end formula. It's definitely working better than drugstore. So it's, I'd say it's worth the price if it's something that you want to spend on eyeshadow. I mean, I totally would spend this kind of money on eyeshadow and do. <laughs> but I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. They'd rather spend it on other things. Which again is fine. There's some gorgeous drugstore palettes out there. I like a bit of both. I like a bit of high end. I definitely see the difference when I'm using high end. However, drugstore has come a very long way in the last couple of years and for the money that you pay for drugstore you can't really go wrong with the likes of like um, W7, Revolution, love them both definitely can't go wrong if you're looking for something with a bit of a lower price point. So I'm going in with this shade here which is Velvet Crush. It's like a dark um, shimmer, like a dark brown shimmer. I always religiously used um, mattes on my outer corner. I don't know why but I always did and then one day I picked up a shimmer because there wasn't a dark um, matte shade available at the time in the palette I was using and I've never looked back. I actually love a shimmer in the outer corner. Who would knew? Who knew? I bet everybody else has been doing that for years. It's just me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy so far. Next up, next up I am gonna stick some concealer under my eyes so foundation I'm going in with the Primark Glow Foundation I absolutely adore this I have nearly run out I'm on the last dregs of about three or four different bottles um I can't get hold of it um my town doesn't actually even sell this foundation it never has um, I say town, it's a city, but my city has never sold it in the... It, we have a very small Primark considering we are a city. Um, and I sometimes go to Blackpool. Well, that's where I get this foundation from, is from Blackpool. But they haven't had it since... Well, in 2020, I'd say. I think I've been about four, maybe five times in 2020. And... The only ones they seem to have are porcelain and that's all they've had since the start of 2020. So I don't know whether it's being discontinued. I don't know whether it's just COVID that's stopping it get produced. Like there's some sort of supply issue. I do not know. But if it's discontinued, I'm going to cry because I love this foundation. I feel like it makes my skin flawless. And it took me a long time to find this foundation. I went through a lot of foundations. Very, very unhappy with a lot of foundations that I tried. You know, I I spent about two years hating every single foundation I tried until I found this one. And I love it. Um, I loved it so much. I was scared it was going to get discontinued. So I bought loads of backups of it. Hence why I've survived 2020 without buying foundation. I've literally survived a whole year without buying foundation. The only backups I've got left now are porcelain. Because I used to buy porcelain. I don't know why because I'm not that pale. Um, I am porcelain in some, in some um, foundations. This foundation does not oxidise. Okay, so next I would always go in with my Laura Mercier powder without fail, but I can't find it. So, I'm going to have a little cry in the corner. 
And whilst I do that, I'm going to try a new powder. This smells really strong of coconut. So this is the Becca Hydra Mist Fresh Set and Refresh Powder, which looks like this. I can ignore the fingerprints. And as I say, I've not tried this, so we're going to give it a go. This, I think, I picked up it. I picked it up in Fabric Fun for a sort of discounted price. It's only a mini, but I'd much rather buy a mini of something that I've never tried before than buy a full size and then hate it. It's like when I bought the Laura Mercier for the first time. I got I got a mini because I wasn't sure I'd like it. And I loved it, so then I got a full size. And I do think it's quite a good idea to do that with high-end products. Because if it ain't nice, you haven't wasted a giant amount of money. And this powder is the same as Laura Mercier, I feel. I can't tell the difference other than the smell. It smells of coconuts. Now I'm going in with another discontinued product. I need to stop using discontinued products, but I don't usually like do my base on camera, so I don't usually mention these things. But this is the Elf Sunkissed uh, bronzer, and it's a shimmery bronzer. I love it. It is incredible. It's one of them bronzers because it is quite light I can go heavy and I'm using a really heavy dense brush this is the it doesn't say what it's called but it's a NYX 03 brush this is a really dense brush and I actually like using this brush with this bronzer because I can get away with it with this bronzer because it's a lighter bronzer when I use a darker bronzer I have to use a more fluffy sort of um, you know, one that doesn't pack it on quite as tough because obviously if it's darker I don't want to pack it on because I will look silly because I'm not that dark. But I like this one because you can really like put a lot of product on really, really quickly. So yeah, that is my bronzer that I love. So now we're on to another drugstore product. This is the Rimmel Kate um, Contour Palette. Don't know what shade this one is. O2 Coral Glow. And I just really like the contour shade out of this. It's very subtle. It's very pale. And it's got a bit of shimmer. I don't know what it is. I like a bit of shimmer in all my face products. I'm just a shimmery face product person. And I think we're going to go in with this brush, which is a Real Techniques 02. Um, it's one of the blush, blush crush ones, I think. And then we are going to go in with some blusher. And today we are going to be using the Doll Beauty Take Me to the Peach. Which looks like this. And how gorgeous is this packaging? This is a very new to me blusher. I'm not even sure I've used it. Um, I, got, I got this in the Black Friday sale. But I also bought, I think, another four of them prior to Black Friday, just in November in general. Okay, that's a bit, I went a bit, um, didn't realise how pigmented that was going to be. I went a bit um, crazy with that. Hmm, I really like that, it's really nice. So just remember to go in lightly with that next time. And then what do I want to do for highlights? I think we're going to go all out with the highlight. Um, it's a Christmas party at the end of the day. So today we're playing a game called Let's Watch Bryony Play With um, Discontinued Products. <laughs> this is, just just look at it. So this is one of the Topshop highlighters. Um, I picked this up in um, TK Maxx a while back, but it is discontinued. That's why TK Maxx had it. They are absolutely gorgeous, the Topshop Duochrome highlighters. So, we're going to play with this, even though it's discontinued, because it's been such a long time since I've played with it, and, oh, that is not the right shade for this look. That is far too... It is pink, which was I thought would be okay, but it, it needs to be a bit more gold, I think. So what we'll do, 
we'll go in with this one and then we'll we'll do a mix we'll mix some out we'll put some out over the top of it to make it a bit golder because i do feel like that's too cool toned for this look Too Faced Blinded by the Light which is like a champagne colour will that help? is that any better? do you know what it's a party <laughs> let's just put more stuff on what else have we got? now we're going to stick some bright little glow over the top of that which is um, Doll Beauty and Pretty Little Thing collab um, so we're just going to stick some of this over the top Oh, that's better. That's more goldy now. So, we have 56,000 highlighters on. And that is about the right amount. I'm now going to finish off my eyes. Um, so, I'm just going to stick a straight line across for my eyeliner. And then, I'm going to stick some mascara on. And I like this one, which is the Ico lash alert one of my favorites at the moment again this was gifted to me just to make you aware it either came in a glossy box or a look fantastic glad i gave it a go because i absolutely love it so i'm just gonna do my under eyes and for my under eyes i'm gonna use the um the shimmer the gold shimmer we used originally two thirds of the way along my under eye from the inner corner and I'm just going to use some of this gold as an inner corner highlight as well because it is quite pale I do think it works well for that as well I'm just going to use that dark brown that we used earlier as well just on the outer V and just blend them two shades together just so that it kind of gives a bit of darkness at the outer corner and then just to finish it off obviously we need to do lipstick and lashes i'm going to use this number seven lip liner um does it say on it what shade it is it doesn't say on the name of the shade but it is just a nude one and i think i got it in an advent calendar the number seven advent calendar i think it might actually be called nude so flesh pot this is a new one this is called flesh part this is by mac this is new to me um i just picked it up recently and i do like the shade so we're going to give this one a try because i've not tried it i don't think on my lips okay that's paler than i was expecting i always think you can never have too pale for my, for my complexion but that is very pale so what i'm going to do it's not a problem. I do like it. I just need to darken the edges with this lip liner, so bear with. And then I'm going to pop over some of this gloss by Be Perfect. This is, I think this is called, yes, yeah, Starkers. I'm going to pop some of that just in the middle. It's a similar shade to this lipstick, actually, but it might just take away from that really pale need yeah yeah i like that so we just need to do my lashes and then we are done so here you have the finished look and i do think even if i say so myself this is quite a cute um christmas party slash skype party look i think it's quite cute um i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i hope to see you in a video again soon bye